Hello my Sock Universe and welcome to another collection video and uh, this is not the last one for the um, La Liga teams where I want to show you a jersey from my collection until we get, uh, you know, maybe there's some more time and I will can show you more uh, jerseys from La Liga. Uh, as I know I'll do the Serie A review next and there I will show you a few one of my Italian shirts although most of which you have already seen in videos but you know I have so many so let's go. But I decided instead of showing another Barcelona away jersey or you know uh, uh, yeah more or less another Barcelona away jersey or the Sevilla shirt here I want to show you the for sure the quirkiest the oddest and most special and potentially the ugliest jersey I have in my collection it's all there however I do love it dearly it is this Granada jersey that I uh, got this year uh, from the 12-13 season, although it was never worn. Because this is a prototype from uh, Legea and I think they switched it over, I want to say Luanvi, but uh, you know, some other company. Uh, so this prototype was never worn. And I have to say Legea actually produced a few nice kits before that for Granada that had uh, all the horizontal striping and here they went for this brush style effect way ahead of its time. But what makes this jersey so quirky is not necessarily the brush style effect, which I think is fine, but it's the overall uh, cut of this shirt. A, I always have to say, the Granada crest, why is so slim and so long? And, you know, it kind of gets lost in here. If you look at it from a distance, yeah, there's something there, but it really, really, really more or less dis dis disappears. But let's talk, 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 talk about the things that almost made me not buy this shirt. If it wasn't, it was just eight euros. And I think they had the away shirt as well, which was gray and black. But I said, no, I have to go for, for, for this one. First of all, I mean, the obvious thing is why this thingy here? It looks a little bit like a nun, but if you wear it, it actually looks like there's a cape attached to you. I definitely, with the cut, uh, look at how this gets, I mean, it's not as, but uh, the cut gets very, very slim towards the bottom. And with the horizontal striving, when, when, when I wear this, and that's why I actually like to wear it, I look like a superhero. Watch just the beginning of the first part of the La Liga re review uh, for this season, and you will know what, what, what I mean. This paired with, uh, and also the um, slivers here, accentuating uh, basically a athletic body shape, which I definitely do not have. <laughs> it's just the weirdest of cuts. Then on top of that, look at the sleeves. If it was all white, no, they add a little bit of red here in this huge patch. And then there, I have to say, this would be a nice Legea logo, to be honest. I think this is one of the least, uh, this, uh, is an underappreciated logo. I think this is great. This would, would be great if Legea was a bigger company. So yeah, um, in that sense, it's a shame it was worn. It's actually my first ever Legea shirt and it's a prototype. Um, it has actually, uh, beside the Legea here, uh, some other really cool features. Uh, for, for instance, this um, holographic tag here, uh, as you can see, it's kind of moving here. Uh, then, as I said, I mean, a really weird this sliver here. I, I never understand this, which is kind of a slightly ventilated material, as is uh, the one down here. The back is completely white and plain, and has, of course, more slivers. I mean, it, in a, in a way, it looks straight out of 2006, 2007, uh, and it's of course Granada CF uh, 1931 written on the reverse side. So yeah. Um, it's just kind of get past the sleeve and you know you have this ripped sleeve cuff here uh, and then this patch it's so unmotivated the way it does make it is not a particular shape it just goes very weird so I mean there's so many things that that are wrong with this shirt but to be honest I'm so happy that I have it Granada was doing well in the Europa League last season so I actually got quite some mileage out of it and a bit Barcelona uh, away from home, then, you know, uh, I actually do wear this shirt because it is kind of flattering on me, despite all the weirdness. It is, as I said, it's definitely not the uh, nicest shirt. I have I have to say the shirt when Granada came last time up, was it the 18-19 or the 19-20 season? I want to say the 18-19. 
1920. Uh, 1920 probably. Well, it doesn't matter. It was a really nice one. They had like the red stripes and there was a little bit blue in, in between. It was a Nike creation, uh, which I was actually far fond of. But as I said, it's a super quirky jersey. Yeah, here it also says Legea team. There's a tag on the side here. Legea team, officially licensed product. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a really interesting uh, jersey, and even like the the material is kind of soft. So um, there there are some good things about it. It's just when I saw this one, I said, yeah, this is going to, but I'm not going to buy it. And I said, okay, eight euros, I'll add, tag it onto the order. Uh, it's fine. So yeah, that's how I got a Granada shirt. It is a prototype, but it is a rather special shirt, I would say. So I, of course, have no recollection of Granada uh, during, during the season. So I would like to know if you have any associations with this shirt or if you have any uh, thoughts or uh, how do you like it? Uh, I mean, even the color is weird. What do you think about this shirt? As I said, it is probably the ugliest shirt that I have. But I needed a Granada shirt and it does the trick. And I love to wear it. So yeah. I said this now many times. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.